Hi guys, me again. I know I'm getting quicker with this YouTube malarkey. <laughs> um, so here is a nice fresh pink and white set that I did earlier in the week. A uh, client wanted something like a little bit like mine. Um, so basically it's a redesign. So as you can see, I've already got my clear layer down. Um, everything's done and ready. So on the pinky finger, I am applying. Uh, this is a glitter from my uh, Christmas stacker from Diamond Glitters. So this is Silver Rainbow Diamonds. This glitter is really, really lovely. It's like a silver glitter, but also it's got a bit of a, a bit of an iridescent uh, sort of sheen to it as well. It's really, really lovely. I'm actually wearing it on my little finger, um, but I've got it textured on top, and I've got to admit it has had a little bit of hammer. So it's probably ready for a fresh sprinkling. Um, but I'm just applying this nice and thinly over the whole nail. Just making sure that it's nice and filled. There's no little gaps or anything like that. Then I'm going to move on to the ring finger. So on the ring finger I am going to do a, a ombre. So to ombre I am using... Uh, Milky Pink by CJP. Now I know a lot of people do struggle with um, ombres, so what I do recommend is if you are using CJP, uh, try Milky Pink and Amore. Uh, Milky Pink is it's a really really soft white, so it the, the it blends a hell of a lot easier than Snow White does, as Snow White's so bright white and pigmented. So Milky Pink is a great one to use. So as you can see, I've just worked really thinly there. I've applied no height or bulk to this nail. I've literally just painted on that white. Just getting rid of a little bit of excess on the tip. Just don't want to come away though. There we go. So I'm just going to neaten that back up. And get rid of that bit of glitter. I swear to God I get that on every set. Every set. So I'm just making sure we're nice and neat. And then, as I said earlier, if you use a more with milky pink, it's it just makes a lovely, lovely blend. So you're going to see that now. So I'm going into a more, placing that on a cuticle, just teasing that back into side rolls, and then I'm just pulling that bead straight down, and then just feathering it over, and then it just blends so effortlessly it really really does so anybody who is struggling with your french ombre pink and white ombre baby boomer whatever you guys call it i definitely recommend these two powders so we are going to go to the middle finger and on the middle finger i'm going to do a pink and white so as i've used a more uh, in the ombre i'm going to use a more for my pink just so it all ties in nicely I do tend to try and use the same colour pink uh, in sort of the whole set. You can mix and match it, it does look a little bit a little bit odd I think. So like I say, just to tie it all in, try and use the same uh, colour pink. So I'm just going to place another bead on at cuticle area. So as always, placing it on, teasing it into cuticle area and side roll. I'm sat gassing now, that's why my brush is just hovering there in midair. And then we're just pulling the rest of that product over right to our smile line. And then we are just neatening it up. Just checking that my wall is the same height all the way around. And then we are going to go on to the index finger. Now on the index finger I've done a sort of a, a pink and white diagonal ombre with the glitter fade in the middle. So I'm applying milky pink again just so I'm using obviously the same white the whole way through. And I've applied it in a diagonal motion so exactly the same as you would be doing if you were doing a pink and white ombre. But I've gone like diagonally across the nail. 
So I'm just applying a more just to the cuticle area and then I'm bringing that down over the white. Again I'm working nice and thin because this is going to be capped. I'm not worrying about my blend because as I said I'm going to be putting glitter on there. So don't worry about getting that perfect. So the glitter that I'm using on this nail is, what is it? It's Arctic Wolf. Yes it is. It's Arctic Wolf, uh, from Diamond Glitters obviously. Um, and it is mixed with the Silver Rainbow Diamonds. So I've just double dipped into both. So into a monomer, into my clear powder, into one glitter, into the second glitter. And I'm just placing that on over the blend and then up around one side wall to the cuticle area then you're going to come down the opposite way and down that free edge I'm actually sat now doing the voiceover for this with my hand doing the direction that you're going to do it I know you guys can't see me but god I must look ridiculous so you can see you want to come uh, so from cuticle down one side wall and then around so as you can see I have filed in my smile line and I'm going in I'm going to use milky pink again just because obviously I've used milky pink on um on the set like previously so I didn't want to swap to snow white and then it just end up being too white like obviously snow white is such a crisp white I didn't want to do that and then sort of it end up standing out too much I want it to all blend in nicely and I want them to be quite soft so milky pink I think is the perfect one to do that with. So just checking that everywhere is nice and covered. Not worrying about that smile line because you are going to file that in nice and crisp. So I'm just checking that I'm happy with my structure and my side walls and everything. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to cap these nails now. So I'm capping using... CJP's crystal glass as always so we're just placing that on at cuticle area and then pulling it down remembering that um, well I personally tend to work a little bit wetter when I'm capping my glitters because I just think it gives you a little bit better clarity and you are looking for all your glitters to be matte if they aren't matte then you know they're not covered properly so when you file you're going to file straight into that glitter just patting that all into place and then I'm going to move on to the ombre so because I've already got a little bit of height on this nail I'm just going to cap with a really really thin layer just doing this to make sure my apex is in the right place and make sure that I've protected that blend because the last thing you want to do is work hard getting that nice blend in and then cap and then not cap in and filing straight through so then move on to the index finger and do the exact same process so I don't tend to film me capping everything because it just ends up getting a little bit boring and a little bit tedious, I'm not going to lie. And for some reason, I haven't recorded me doing the thumb, I do apologise, but the thumb was, um, it was just a, uh, what was it, an ombre, of course it was. Yeah, it was just a, uh, just a little ombre, same as on the ring finger, so it's not, not didn't miss much anyway guys. So these are all done and filed in as you can see. So now I am top coating using my trusty Extreme Shine top coat. You can see that glitter really come through. And now you can see that lovely ombre. I'll stop hogging the nail and turn it. 
just love those colours on braid together. They are absolutely perfect. So then we're going to top coat the pink and white. And then again on the index finger. So I will apologise because on um, one of the ombres I did a uh, pigment. The pigment I used was a Luminara pigment. I do apologise that I haven't recorded me doing this. But obviously there is a picture at the end so yeah, you can see it. But I will leave a link below to where you can get that from. So there is the finished set guys. Thank you so so much for watching. And as always please don't forget to like and subscribe.